what is going on that makes a narcissist treat you the way that they treat you? They simply don't care. They simply don't relate to others through empathy. They they use whatever amount of cognitive empathy that they have to read you. And then they get information to use against you. So that's kind of how they see empathy. However, they want yours. They want your deep, loving, giving, heartfelt, all of that coming toward them. They want you to fill them up. They don't want to give back. They have nothing to give. It's a lack of a true personality, really. It's a mask worn in lieu of a personality. It's, a, it's masks worn, several masks, to present to the world who they need the world to believe they are. They lack boundaries. We know this, right? They not only lack boundaries, I mean, that's like putting it mildly. They enjoy pushing boundaries. They don't want there to be boundaries because if there are boundaries, at least for other people, if, they, if there are boundaries, that means they can't control you. And so they use the breaking down of your boundaries to get in, to get in. You know what I mean? Like to get in and to push your sense of self into the ground so they can control how you think and feel about yourself. And therefore you are theirs to puppet. Um, there is a defensiveness to them. Ever try and have a conversation with a narcissist about anything related to any topic that pushes even slightly on their vulnerable egos and sense of superiority, sense of uh, like they're, all the stuff we're talking about. Ever try to have a conversation that even says the most slightest, even in a kind way, something that has to do with something they've done. You're going to get hit smack between the eyes with defensiveness is what's going to happen. They are going to come at you with defensiveness. And, and that's that. That's they're going to gaslight. They're going to project. They're going to blame shift. They're going to do all the things we talk about all the time in here. And that's how they interact. That's so there is no way to have a deep, meaningful relationship with someone who will not take accountability and instead is defensive. It's not possible. All right. They have contempt. They project. They deny. They dismiss and they envy. This is why, because they're being defensive. They're being defensive to protect their sense of who they think they are, who they're projecting they are, who they're pretending to be, so that they can maintain power and control over their world. Because remember, for every narcissist, there's a little world, and we're all supposed to spin around that narcissist world. And that's the only world that exists. They treat you the way they do because all of the ways that I've described here, and then some, are the ways they interact, are the ways they interact within themselves to the world around them. So everything is about protecting that sense of who they believe they are, that sense of who they're projecting and wanting you to believe they are. Everything is about that. It's not about the interaction between two people. Everything is redirected back to them until it's something they don't want. Then they project it out onto everybody else. They are perpetually protecting the lie of the, of who they are presenting themselves as instead of being authentic people because they don't have a true personality outside of the masks that they put on. When you see the masks come off, what you see are usually irritable, grumpy, uh, unpleasant, hateful people that don't have a whole lot of compatibility and human interaction skills underneath it all. It's not about you, though. It's not about you as a person. It is about them and how they treat people. They do the same thing over and over and over to everyone in every relationship that they have at some point. So if you're in an unfortunate situation where you have been swept into the world of a narcissist, it's not because there's something wrong with you. It is because this is how they treat people. Okay, you're not doing anything that could change their behavior. No amount of love, no amount of trying, no amount of effort, no amount of perfection, so to speak, on the side of the person who is their supply will create a happy, loving relationship. It won't because you've got all of the stuff I described there going on within that other person. They aren't good in relationships, period. They're just not.